Pisces, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early January 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the Piscean Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic. Let's see what's going on my guides. Talk to me. What do you have for us Pisceans here in early January? And we're getting pretty close to Pisces season, right? We've got a little bit of time. But yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Pisces in early January still in the very early stages of this brand new calendar year so let's see what's going on okay so we have this puppeteer okay so this could be a lot of different things my friends it could be someone pulling the strings from behind the scenes it could represent control it doesn't always have to be bad here but whenever this card does show up in the front end it does get me a little skeptical to be simple with you but before we fully dive into that if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the January subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading. Let's talk a little bit about this card. So we see this jester right there, and it's playing with all the different little puppets, so it's controlling what's happening here on the show. So, of course, I'm sure you could understand why I have a little skepticism towards this, because it could represent in its toughest form somebody manipulating an outcome or trying to manipulate a situation from behind the scenes they're literally pulling the strings for some of you you might be trying to figure something out right there might be a little mystery that has you intrigued or there might be something it's like all right i need to look a little deeper i need to look what's beyond the surface when this card shows up but aside from that this card could simply just represent control Okay, so for some Pisceans, aside from everything I already talked about, this could be spirit saying like, hey, you need to get something under control or you might be in the process of saying, all right, I'm, I'm going to get myself under control. Maybe it's thought process, maybe it's habits, maybe it's a situation in general. There are aspects of control here and beware of over controlling individuals when this card is in the mix. So uh, I can't wait to see what shows up in tarot. We're just going to put that jester over there to the side. Let's get into tarot now yeah i'm gonna get you three cards in the upright then we'll get into that intuitive juicy stuff and i always say with this first card it doesn't make or break the reading right so don't worry about it too much let's get it going here get these first three cards out and while we get this deck ready let's talk about last week's reading my friends it was titled an unexpected talk so for a lot of you if you didn't have an unexpected talk or conversation just know that that energy could still bleed over into the coming days and weeks Okay, so whether it was talks of topics that you didn't see coming or people hitting you up that you weren't expecting, all those things were in play last week. And that could still, you know, still show up. But we're going to see what happens this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take it how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or we could be seeing someone you're connected to, right? You know how tarot goes, Pisces. So let's see what we got here. My God, talk to me. Three cards to start. Thank you. Nice and quick. All right, that's happy. That's a happy start. At the very least, we have the Three of Cups. This card gets a bit of a bad reputation sometimes. I see it as a very, very positive start and a very positive card. Let's get a couple more, though. Could be someone living it up, partying it up. You might need to have a little bit of fun here, my friends, or cut loose. Let's get two more here for Pisces, please. Yeah, the deck is being super specific. All right, chariot, so water energy abundant here in the first part. This could be an action. This could be a movement. Mm. All right, let's get one more. One more. Going on a trip, something around transportation possible. There's a lot of things with that chariot card. All right, the deck is like, no, none of these cards are it. If you're new here, I only read jumpers, so... Okay, so the conversation, the communication is still in the mix. You're also going to have a bonus this week, Pisces. We have the Page of Pentacles right here on the back end. So the themes from last week still bleed over to now. And we have the Star card, Aquarius energy. So let's talk about it, Pisces. We have a, a layered one on our hands, right? So we'll go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes. Then we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I'm liking what I'm seeing. 
um, initially because elementally we have water, we have earth in the main part of the spread. So when I see water and earth together, that does represent potential. We have a card of happiness. We have a card of action and forward movement. We have a card of communication and learning and a card of hope and wish fulfillment on the back end. So let's go through one by one. Hopefully it stays as positive as it feels right now, or right? I'm going to try to not get too optimistic. But position number one, we do have the Three of Cups. Okay, let's build this story. The Three of Cups, as I already said, it does get a bit of a bad reputation. Some people see it and they're automatically third-party situation, third-party situation. To me, this is a card of celebration. It's a card of happiness, merriment, living it up, having a good time, all within due bounds, though, am I right? So when we see this card, it's people getting along well and it's people celebrating. So obviously, when I see this card, I think of good results. I think of wins. I think of victories. I think of happy times. Now, a challenge with this card it could represent somebody that's partying it up a little too much, okay? So there might be someone you're connected to that's always partying it up, or they're throwing a few too many back, or they have issues in regards to substance when this card shows up in its negative form. But we're going to take it at its positive face value until we see the clarifier. This could just be something really good coming in for a lot of you, okay? I'm not seeing temperance or anything that would lead me to that conclusion just yet. So we're going to say this is a good thing. Any three card, yes, it could represent your circle of influence. So people around you. So you might need to socialize. Spirit might be asking you to get out, hang out with some friends, socialize a little bit. Moving to the center, we have the chariot. The fastest card, if not one of the fastest cards in the whole entire deck. So this is linked to the Cancer Collective, another water sign. So you might be connected to the Cancer. Maybe you have placements there. And this is the fastest card of action, forward movement, and forward momentum. The chariot could represent trips. It could represent distance. It could represent modes of transportation. So your vehicles, traveling, anything in, in those realms could be represented by the chariot. And when I see it, I'm thinking someone's either going towards or away from something super, super fast. Very powerful, explosive action with this card. Now, I do always say there's a caveat with the chariot. I always say, you know... Yes, it's a determined energy, and yes, it's energy moving, but at the same time, it is headstrong type of energy. And remember, chariots were initially made as an instrument of war. Warriors used to use chariots in battle, so always watch out for conflict when this is here. I'm not getting that total vibe just yet. So we're going to get that chariot right here, especially like with all the cards that it's sandwiched with. I don't necessarily feel like this is bad. We could be seeing somebody's actions or motives. Now, moving to the back end, we have the Page of Pentacles. You might be connected to an Earth sign here. I would say all pages are messengers. All pages are students. You might be wanting to learn new things. This could literally be schooling of some sort or just sucking up some knowledge here, okay? Like learning new things. It's a really good card. But once again, it's a messenger. It's a communicator. So we could be seeing a talk once again, just like we saw last week, or we could be seeing some sort of message. Pages could also represent children as well or youthful individuals, people that are younger than you. So we really want to see what's up with that. Pages are cards that represent new. Now moving to your bonus real quick, we have the star card. This one represents the Aquarius Collective, so you might be connected to one. Maybe you have placements there. But when I see the star card, I think of hope. Yes, I think of things in the distance, right? Like having a light at the end of a tunnel, a goal that you could work towards. This is a very hopeful type of card though. So once again, wish fulfillment, hope, we have partying it up. We have good things, good possibilities mixing up already. So we're gonna wanna see if it continues that way. But yeah, the star could represent something that's off in the distance. I wanna dive deeper on all the Pisces. Let's jump in and clarify. <clears throat> all right, let's get a good shuffle here for my friends. What's going on for Pisces here? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that three of cups here. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Pisces, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, three of cups. What is this about? Beautiful. Beautiful. We have the Knight of Cups in the upright. Yeah, something might be coming in that's going to make you very, very happy, my friends. 
So the Knight of Cups, Mr. Prince Charming, Mr. Loverboy type of energy. Knights are also about forward progress, forward momentum. Notice we have a lot of water energy, which is something Pisces is very comfortable with. And none of them are skewing to the dark side. Now, when a card shows up that represents the Pisces Collective, if you're not cross-watching, of course, it's just beautiful, good energy moving in. So when I see it underneath the Three of Cups, I just have to say something's going to be making you happy, my friends. There's going to be repaired emotions or emotions feeling higher and much better. So watch out for massive wins and victories in this time. But I also have to say, Knights and Pages are both messengers, okay? And this is a card that could represent offers of love, offers of emotion, communication in general. And when I see it under a happy card like the Three of Cups, it's not saying like, oh yeah, this is a third party love situation thing. I feel like this is spirit saying like, listen, you got something good coming in. You have an offer or exciting news, right? Straight up, this is like something to be excited and happy for. So I really like this energy and I feel like it should be claimed, honestly. Like, and you know, I'm part of the Pisces Collective myself. I'm claiming this for myself because I feel so refreshed and rejuvenated by it. So once again, a lot of you could be feeling very good, a reason for happiness. And yeah, massive win victory type of energy. Okay, so could be exciting news. We'll see how it all plays out because this isn't the only action. Remember, we still have a lot of more messages, communication and action, but we're at least starting from a good place. That's one thing I will say, Pisces. So let, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And to me, if you've been going through a tough time, the energy might swing in your favor, okay? Something might swing in your favor. I really like it. So let's see why that chariot's here. Why is the chariot here, Pisces? All right, All right. the deck is being specific for you, my friends. I'll take it. I'd rather have a specific message, right? Okay. Wow. All right, it's like we're getting better and better here, Pisces. We have the Nine of Cups underneath the Chariot. These are multiple wins. This is like win after win after win. All water here, all happy emotion. And I don't feel like it's false. I feel like for a lot, this is one of the better readings I've done for you in a long time. Months, months and months. And I get a lot of mixed readings with Pisces. Some are like rough, some are really good. This is one of the best ones I've seen for you in a very, very long time. We have the Nine of Cups underneath the Chariot. Another win. So it's like one after another. Okay, so whether this is exciting news or whether it's win on win on win, you see this happy individual right here, happy with all those cups fulfilled, right? This is a welcoming, loving type of energy. It's like, yeah, come on in, have one of these cups, right? So there's a lot of like sharing is caring and generosity and warm, loving type of energy. So Pisces, I would claim this, especially if you're going through a tough time right now, if you're feeling isolated or whatever it is. With the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, this is others that could be caring for you or sending good emotion your way. So it's not that we just have one win or one piece of exciting news coming in, Pisces. There's multiple, like really, really good things coming in. If there is somebody that's going to make a move or take an action, it's going to be one that you were very satisfied with. Like, okay, I'm glad you did that. Or I'm glad you said that. If some of you are taking a trip or at least planning a trip or vacation, now would be a good time to do that with the Chariot and Nine of Cups. Do a little sightseeing, right? Shake up the day-to-day -day schedule. Let's move in on the Page of Pentacles, and we'll do a quick recap. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here, Pisces. But yeah, we'll get this page done, then recap before we get the Shadow card. Very nice so far. Even if we get like Ten of Swords or the Tower with this page, I don't feel like it's going to ruin this reading. Right? Like, we have good energy. There's so much good energy here. So why is the page in the mix? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so amidst all this good energy, there might be an individual that might not... <laughs> and I know this sounds mean, but I'm just going to say it. I always trust the cards, and I always trust my gut with the messages. There might be someone that's not happy to see you happy. That sounds really mean and nasty, right? Like, it's not the nicest energy. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Aside from that, watch out for issues in regards to work. Some of you might need to really look for a new line of work or an area of work with the Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles in reverse. There could be something around what you do for money currently that's just not working for whatever reason. But once again, this is another vibe of like your circle around you, the fact that it's in reverse. This is someone that doesn't play nice. And underneath this page, it could be someone taking like little jabs, okay? Like they don't like too much harmony. So this could be an individual that when there's 
too many things going good or there's too much harmony, they have to jump in and, you know, poke, poke and prod. Not the nicest energy on the back, but once again, this doesn't ruin the reading whatsoever. So I'm feeling for a lot of Pisces now is a great time for travel or planning trips and vacations and also planning new areas of work and new ways to earn money. So it's not too, too bad on the back end. Let's go through. It's a little bit of a warning about a salty person, right? Maybe a little jealous person, but let's go through piece by piece. And then we'll do the recap before the shadow card. If you kindly look in the box, overall, very claimable type of reading this week, Pisces. Position number one, we do have the Three of Cups with the Knight of Cups in the upright. Beautiful, possible exciting news coming in, offers coming in, good communication. Like, yeah, I'm happy this happened. Like, it is a cause for celebration and it feels really good. Nice energy towards romance or emotional connection as well. Nice. Move into the center. We have the chariot with the nine of cups. So not only am I picking up one win, I'm picking up multiple. So hopefully that'll start a snowball effect for you. I'm claiming this for myself as well, my friends. But the chariot with the nine of cups, it could be a good time to plan a vacation, take a trip, do some sightseeing, mix up your day-to-day -day life a little bit. On to the back end, we have the Page of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is where the energy gets a little eh. For some of you, you might need to look for a more positive work environment or just look for a new place to work or earn money. For a portion of you, this could also be someone that like when they see things going too well or when they see someone happy, they have to throw in their little pokes and prods. So watch out for anyone trying to rain on your parade. But for the most part, beautiful ah, chef's kiss type of energy this week. Please take a screenshot. Let's get into the shadow card. Let's see what's in the shadows for Pisces here. That was nice. That, that makes me happy this week's reading for sure. Yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see what's up, whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow card does not have to be a challenge only. Could be a good thing. So let's see what's in the shadows for Pisces. Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. It is a beautiful way to support the channel and the mission over here. I think most of my members or a lot of them are from the Pisces Collective. So much love to my members out there. Let's get you a shadow card. Obviously, no pressure. So what's going on for Pisces? Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. So even your shadow card is nice this week, Pisces. I'm, I'll take it, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles in the shadows. Now, of course, sometimes this could represent spirit saying like, hey, watch out for false opportunities. But in conjunction with the rest of what we've been seeing within this week's reading, it's like, opportunities and offers golden opportunities and offers coming in for a lot of the collective and this feels good even if you're going through a very difficult time right now it to me it feels like the energy is rising and the energy is moving in a very positive way for you pisces okay so the the only drawback with the ace of pentacles in the shadows is well two drawbacks either that's a false opportunity or an opportunity squandered so just keep your eyes open in, in this time that you don't squander any opportunities. But for most of you, I feel like this is very, very good energy moving towards you. Like you're going to have many opportunities. So I would claim that in general, especially linked with the reading itself. Good things are coming, my friends. And yes, Pisces, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give the details of the January subscriber surprise. For the January subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls Tarot deck. It's one of my favorite new decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments what are one of your biggest goals for this year that we just entered into. You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, I'll announce the winners in my community tab at random. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you again soon.